Maximum noise reduction, which is the highest priority in all of our PC cases, and maximum airflow are two things that really don't play too well together. To avoid this particular dilemma, we've tried a new approach with a new silent bass 802 2 in 1, which means that you decide what's more important to you. After the release of the Silent Bass 801, we have received a ton of community and press inquiries praising the silence aspect of the new case, but still crave for more airflow performance. We have heard you loud and clear, and with the Silent Bass 802, we present a one-size-fits-all approach to both problems. In order to avoid the hotspots, which tend to pop up when you install a radiator in the top of the case, an extremely air-permeable top cover is included in the scope of the delivery. On the other hand, if you prefer your case as silent as possible, you simply use the other top cover that's also included, which fits seamlessly into the case design and minimizes noise coming from the inside. The same holds true for the front panel. The standard one is the perfect choice for quiet systems and general PC configurations, while at the same time the Airflow front panel allows a maximum performance for demanding computer configurations, like for example if a radiator is installed into the front of the case. Bottom line is that we have created pretty much two cases in one with the Silent Base 802. And as is expected with a facelift, the new case comes along with a new I.O. panel featuring an USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C connector. All other features are taken from the predecessor like the easy of use and generous space inside. If you need more information there, please follow the link to the product site here in the video information box. To illustrate the flexibility, we have built one air-cooled and one water-cooled setup. The case fans as well as the CPU cooler are all locked at 70% of their maximum revolution speeds. First, a PC featuring our Shadowrock 3 wide cooler enters the ring. We use the silence panels and measure the achieved temperature of the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 XT CPU running at an overclocked 4.2 GHz. After half an hour running the shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark in 4K, we achieve 72 degrees Celsius. After another 30 stressful minutes of Prime 95, we measure 88 degrees. Now we let the computer cool down, switch the front and top panels with their airflow counterparts and play the same game again. With the airflow covers, you can see plainly that we have improved the temperatures quite noticeably. The shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark shows 4 degrees less than before and after using Prime 95 for half an hour, the results are 5 degrees below the original numbers that were based on the silence cover, so that is quite the progress in the performance. Now we replace the Shadowrock 3 with our PureLoop water cooling system in its 360mm model, which we install in the front of the case, which means that the case fans have to be moved to the top. Once again, the thickly insulated silence panels are being used first, which results in a temperature reading of 70 degrees while using the Tomb Raider benchmark and 80 degrees with Prime 95. Here is where the water cooling shows its performance strength compared to the air cooling. But you must also remember that while the fans run only at 70% of their maximum speed, they still rotate faster than on the air cooler. A quick switch to the air covers shows 78 degrees at extreme conditions, which in combination with the GPU means an improvement by 3 degrees. Now we focus on the aforementioned hotspot beneath the top cover and install the pure loop up there. After only 10 minutes of Prime 95, the fans run at 100% and the CPU's temperature reaches 95 degrees and after another 10 minutes, we stop the test. But of course, Prime 95 is quite the extreme example that doesn't have much place in the everyday gaming life. Still, the switch to the airflow cover prevents the formation of hotspots and cools down the CPU to 79 degrees after half an hour of Prime 95. 
And while that is the exact number we've also measured in the Tomb Raider benchmark while using the silence covers, the maximum temperature with the mesh solution now shows a clear performance increase by 18 degrees under gaming conditions in 4K. This means that the airflow covers have reached their limit. Such a configuration cannot get much cooler at normal room temperatures. But does that mean that everybody should automatically use water cooling and airflow covers? Not at all. Because this performance comes at a price. The noise. Regardless of whether you select water or air cooling, you have always the choice of performance or silence while using the closed covers. Using a comparable testing setup in the noise chamber, we have registered a drop of 4.7 decibels while using air cooling and even 6.8 decibels with the water cooling system when compared to the open mesh covers. It is up to the user to choose the best setup and to configure their fans so that the optimal balance of cooling performance and noise level is achieved. A water cooling system with a mesh front will rarely run at 70% fan speed. Here an increase of just a few degrees will save you a lot of decibels. The air cooler on the other hand could spin a few paces faster until it reaches louder regions which offers the opposite potential. But this is not the end of the configuration options. If your PC is placed on the ground for example and if you use a water cooling system you will observe a big net win in quietness when you use the mesh panel in the front and the closed panel in the top. Another option would be to use the maximum numbers of slow rotating fans in the case in order to create the perfect work environment for the air cooler as well as the graphics card. And that's just a few examples of many, many more. PCs are always an individual thing. There are no general solutions. With the SilentBase 802, we give you the perfect tool to easily create exactly the kind of PC you've always had in mind. Lots of airflow, whisper quiet, something in between, everything is possible. In black or white, with or without a tamper glass side window. And the most important thing is that this case, the SilentBase 802, has been created directly based on the feedback from you, our community. So please be assured that we always hear you. We really appreciate your feedback and we take it very seriously, just as we will this time. So if you have any feedback, any kind of feedback, please let us know, for example, on our social media channels. I always look forward to hearing from you and together we'll always get better step by step. Well then, stay, stay quiet. quiet.